my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing another spell for you guys this has been highly requested i know that a lot of people have been experiencing a lot of craziness with all these retrogrades that we've been experiencing communication people pulling back um being very defensive and basically i've been asked to do a spell that is going to um open communication as well as uh, make them constantly be thinking of you and staying on their mind. So uh, it's very simplistic and to the point, but very effective. Of course, intention is everything, my lovelies. Make sure to ground yourself, to center yourself before doing any type of spell work so that you can project the energy uh, effectively with no resistance. Let's get into the ingredients. To the point, let's make this as quickly as possible. <laughs> As it is five in the morning, my time. I just finished spell work. I was in the process of preparing this for a client. So we're just going to um, move forward and do it through the whole process just to guide you guys through it. All right, so what we're gonna do is you're going to need a plate or tray um, somewhere where you can be able to put all the ingredients as well as the candle. You're going to be using a red or pink candle. Um, in this situation, I'm going with a pink candle that is much more darker shade um, to be able to not only bring genuine and authentic love because this relationship does need a bit of healing, but also to ignite the passion within them, okay? So that's the reason why I'm using uh, this pink one. But like I said, you can use red or pink. Um, the next thing you're going to be needing is you're going to be needing some mint. You're going to be needing some bay leaves. You're going to be needing some cinnamon some dill weed, and some ginger. Um, okay, so we're gonna start with the candle. Very important, what you're going to do is you're gonna write down, um, going down, their first name, last name, and date of birth. You're gonna write their uh, first name, last name, date of birth three times going down. Once that is done, as you guys can see, we've already prepared this, but, um, so first name, last name, date of birth, first name, last name, date of birth, first name, last name, date of birth, going down three times. Over that, you're going to write down your first name, last name, and date of birth, and you're going to do it three times over their name. Very important. Once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to lay the candle, and you're going to write down, think of me, think of me, all the way around the candle, okay, all the way around it. So you're going to be writing down let me show you guys. Okay, so your their first name, last name, date of birth, three times going down. Over that, you're going to put your first name, last name, date of birth. Then you're going to turn it sideways and you're going to write, think of me. Think of me. Think of me. You're going to do it all around the candle. All right? Once that is done, what we're going to do, we've already ritualized and prepared this candle, but just for showing purposes. All right, so what we're going to do now is, and make sure that when you are carving in that information, the residue of the wax uh, is on the plate, on the paper or plate that you're going to be using. Very important. All right, so once we are done with that, what we're going to do now is we're going to be adding some mint all around, all around the paper. Uh, sorry, not the paper, the plate. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm making a mess here. Okay, so you're going to go all the way around. Okay. And the reason why we're using mint is because we're trying to promote energy and communication. Okay, that's that's why we're using, um, that's why we're using the mint. So not sure if I told you guys exactly all the ingredients. I think I just jumped into the spell work. Um, I apologize for that. It's been a very long day. So ingredients, pink or red candle, a plate or a tray where you can put all your working. You're going to be needing, like I said, the red or pink candle, some mint. You're going to be using cinnamon, dill weed, brown ginger, and some bay leaves as well as something to be able to uh, hold the bay leaf when burning it, okay? That's pretty much all we're going to be needing. Now, let's get into the witching. Like I said, we're going to put some of the mint on the tray. Now, mint is used to promote energy as well as to open communication. 
Then we're going to add some, we're going to keep a bay leaf. Ideally, I always look for the prettiest or biggest bay leaf that I can find. And that's the one that we're going to use to burn. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. I'm going to put it to the side. And we're going to get some of the bay leaves and we're going to go all around breaking the bay leaves, right? And the reason why bay leaves are used in spell work, um, especially love workings, is to create um, for love sympathy, uh, especially when we're dealing with situations where um, both parties are feeling a bit unheard or are feeling a bit hurt or resentful towards each other. Um, bay leaf uh, is used to promote that type of love sympathy and to trigger positive and loving memories um, of the relationship. So that's the reason why we're using some bay leaves here. Now we're also going to be using some dill and the dill is always, um, dill weed is always used for lust, for passion. Okay, and you're going to I always try to integrate more of the dill weed specifically for this spell uh, because passion and desire is very important as well as lust, obviously. And now we're going to be adding some of the ginger. This is specifically used for sexuality and confidence um, and to add strength to the spell that we're using. Let me open it to be able to use it this way better. All right. All right. So <clears throat> we're going to put this to the side before we charge everything. I am going to get a black marker. And what we're going to write here is on the bay leaf, you're going to write, think of me. Okay. So on the bay leaf, you're going to write, think of me. And you only need one because we're going to be burning this uh, to be able to integrate it into these herbs here that we've prepared. You are going to be needing something to put the bay leaf when burning it. I'm not sure if I got a lighter. Okay. So... Now, if you really want to empower this, my suggestion would be before you burn the bay leaf, pass it all around to you, okay? The bay leaf that says, think of me, you're going to pass it all around your body, in your head, in your forehead, your back, your shoulders, your neck, your chest. The reason is you want to uh, really incorporate your energy um, into this bay leaf uh, because that's the energy that we're sending to them. So once that is done, you don't have to do this process, but I always encourage my clients um, and subscribers that follow me on Instagram to definitely do this because it will empower, especially for those of you guys that don't necessarily practice. Um, it's really going to uh, empower the spell. So once that is done, what we're going to do is we're going to burn the bay leaf and make sure to use a tray or somewhere where you can put uh, the bay leaf so that it can burn completely and um, so that you can use the ashes because that's what we're going to be using here. I'm going to be using the ashes. Okay. So you're going to let it burn out completely once that is done. And you see the ashes here. Make sure every single part of the bay leaf is burnt. Okay, because we're trying to use the ashes. Okay, so once that is done, my lovelies, what we're going to do now is we're going to put the ashes on the plate on the herbs right
Okay. And it's going to look something like this. All right. So once that is done, what we're going to do now is we are going to anoint the candle with all of these herbs as well as some you have the option of using uh you have the option of using um if you don't have particular love oils that you can use uh, you can always go the simplistic way which would be to add some olive oil with some cinnamon and rub it on the candle now for ourselves we're going to be using some of our some of our love binding oil um that i have on my online store and we're also going to be using some black cat oil um and this is specifically used to create and bring fidelity to the relationship, to the connection, as well as um, make the partner, make the partner, um, make the partner have the desire to give themselves completely to the target, um, sorry, to the client. Um, in your situation, it would be for you, right? To make you To make them be more um, have the natural desire to want to commit to you or to want to be loyal and honest to you okay so make sure to rub in the candle what we're gonna do now is really rub the oils on your hands like this so that you can create traction and energy into uh, the palm of your hands. Oh my God, I wish you guys can smell this. All right, so what we're going to say, give me one second. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate this candle, these herbs. Still wait so that it may create lust and desire, the gender, so that it may space and spice their sexuality and create confidence within the relationship and strengthen the spell work that is about to commence. I call upon all my wise and loving guides to help me empower and create very quick and effortless the results for my client. Bless and be. All right, so what you're going to do is basically you're going to put both your hands on top of the candle and you're going to say, I bless and consecrate this candle for, you're going to say your first name, last name, date of birth, as well as the first name, last name, and date of birth of your partner. I um, empower and strengthen this candle, as well as the herbs, the dill, so that it may create um, more love and lust within the relationship, the ginger, to spice the sexuality and create confidence within the relationship itself, and to add strength to the spell work, um, and the cinnamon for lust, desire, and love. Once we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to add some of the cinnamon as well as cinnamon on the herbs. And what you're going to do is basically you're going to roll the candle. All right. And keep in mind the ashes were already integrated into the herbs. Uh, so make sure not to skip that step, you guys. Very important. Okay. So it's going to look something like this. Oh my goodness. Can you guys get a whiff of that? It smells freaking amazing. All right. Okay. Yes, it's going to get a bit messy. Spell work is messy. Okay. So once we are done with that, what we're going to do is we're going to take a couple of minutes and really... Put our energy into this uh, candle, into the working that we just um, we just made for my client. But in your situation, I ask you guys to sit with the candle and with the herbs and really put energy towards it. Put uh, loving thoughts, what it is exactly that you want uh, your partner or target to be thinking of when they are um, going to be reaching out to you. If there is any type of animosity, any type of anger, 
focus primarily on in sending them loving thoughts and loving energy. Um, if what you're wanting is to spice things up and create more of a desire and for them to be more proactive when it comes to being more romantic, more thoughtful, that's your intention and that's the focus that you're going to be doing. After you've done this, what you're going to do is um, you're going to basically, give me one second. So what you're going to do is you're going to get, I forgot to mention this to you guys, um, if you really want to empower the spell, I highly encourage you guys to get some rent threat. Um, and I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you guys why we're going to do this. Um, so what you're doing is you are creating, you're creating a circle of, a circle within their mind um, to integrate yourself into their thoughts, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to pass the thread or the yarn um, and you're going to cut, I probably cut a little bit too much, but that's okay. And really pull, pull on the thread, pull on the string, put your energy, put the energy of your hands into this thread, okay? Give me one second. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate this uh, yarn that is specifically used to be able to, um, to be able to tie the thoughts of To my client to keep to keep her in his thoughts to constantly have the desire the want and the need to think of her to reach out to her to communicate to her to express his true feelings and intentions for my client to be as honest and transparent as possible I decree now Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to uh, create knots in the, let me move this to the side. We're going to create uh, knots. Let me move this really quick, you guys, so you guys can see. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to tie knots to the string, to the yarn, and we are going to do, so you're going to create a knot right and this is going to be knot number one and what you're going to say is i'm not sure if you guys can see what you're going to say is with knot number one the spells begun then you're going to do a knot number two and you're going to say with knot number two i have plenty work to do okay so we have two knots there then we're going to go down and we're going to do a third one. And you're going to say, with knot number three, your thoughts are on me. With knot number four, the peace is restored. And then the last one. You're going to say, with knot number five, the spell is alive. All right. So we have five knots. We're going to close off. And your final knot, which would be a sixth. We tie and bind, and you're going to say your partner's name to me, and you're going to say your first, last name, and date of birth. <sighs> Give me one second. So you're going to say, I bind his first name or her first name, last name, date of birth to me, your first name, last name, date of birth all within by magic bound and you're going to tie it all right and it's going to look like this so what we're going to do now is we're going to put the thread 
around the candle, all right? And like I said, you don't necessarily need the thread, but if you really want to amplify and empower the spell, as well as tie their thoughts or their thought patterns to you, I highly encourage you guys to do this. This will only not only empower it, but assure that the person is not going to be able to get you off their mind. Okay. All right. So once that is done, always my lovelies, we use the lighter for the bay leaf, but always make sure not to use any type of uh, lighters when lighting a candle, you guys. Very important because if not, everything you've been working on is completely undone, okay? So make sure to light the candle. Um, I'm going to leave this or I'm going to set it to the side in my altar because my clients should be coming uh, tomorrow. Um, well, sometime later today. It is, what, 540 right now. Um, but they will be coming later in the day and uh, they will be lighting this candle again once this is done you're going to light the candle and you're going to let it completely extinguish do not interrupt this candle meaning if you have to step out or you need to go somewhere make sure to put it um, as an example or as an alternative put it in your sink somewhere where you know it's going to be safe and um, there's not going to be any spilling or anything like that um, or in your altar if uh, you have a tendency of leaving your burning candles there. Be sure to be safe, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do this spell, come back and let us know what your experience was. I wish you guys all the very best. Make sure to like, support our channel, subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.